Hello my dear students. Here I have come again for all of you to take your classes for the ensuing competitive exams such as SSC, CGL, CHSL, PSC, CPO, Bank etc. etc. Today in this classes I will discuss the topic of antonyms. We all know that antonyms are very common for almost every kind of competitive exam. So here I would like to take my class today on the topic antonyms. Before starting the class, kindly keep watching my videos regularly, subscribe to my channels and do not forget to press the notification bell icon for more such videos. Here I would like to start my class. But before that I would like to say that if you like my videos, you can also share my videos with the persons needed most. So here I would like to start my question, first question. The first question here, it is given this autonomy. So there are four options in a row. The first option is submissive, second option dependence, third option subordination, slavery is the fourth option. Again I am repeating first option submissiveness, second option dependence, third option subordination and fourth option is slavery. Now we have to understand the meaning of autonomy. Autonomy means that runs on its own. Suppose a autonom an autonomous government, an, an autonomous body, a, an autonomous school, an autonomous institution, an a, a, autonomous organization. That means that the organization runs on its own. So this is called autonomous or autonomy. Autonomy is a noun form. Now if we think about submissiveness, It means submission or surrendering before someone. Subordination means working under someone. I am not the boss but still someone is over me. That is called subordination. Now if we talk about slavery, slavery means bondage. servitude etc. So here autonomous or autonomy is a noun form does not fit or the, uh, the antonym of autonomous is not submissiveness neither subordination nor slavery rather dependence will be the most appropriate antonym this means autonomous Suppose the organization is autonomous, this means it runs on its own. And if you say the organization is dependent, that means does not run on its own, but depending on something else. So the right appropriate or the right or most appropriate synonym, appropriate antonym for this word is dependence. Now I am going for the next one. The next one is overt. It is the adjective form. There are four options. Deep, shallow, secret, unwritten. Again I am repeating the second option is overt. First option deep. Second option shallow. Third option secret. Fourth option unwritten. So if we just have a closer look over this you will find what is the meaning of overt. Overt means open or exposed. Something exposed or divulged or laid out, something like that, dis, uh, disclosed, not secret, exposed. But what is the meaning of deep? You all know deep means profound. Shallow means shallow water, narrow water, not deep.
unwritten means not written. You all know. A secret means what is the meaning of secret? Clandestine. Or you can say confidential. So overt if overt means exposed. Automatically, its synonym should his antonym should be secret or clandestine. C L A N D E S T I N E or confidential. Okay. Now I'm going for the next question. It is called accord. What is the meaning of accord? This means agree, not disagree. Now there are four options. Solutions. Dissent mitigation. Solution and act do not need any kind of introduction. But still, dissent means some kind of introduction. Dissent means disagree or assent. Whereas mitigation means alleviation or you can say something like that palliative, palliative touch. There are many words, I am just going to write some words for curing something, coming down something. And what can be the appropriate antonym for at accord? If accord means agree, dissent means disagree. So automatically, this will be the option, right option here. Neither mitigation nor solution nor act. Now I am going for the third question. Going for the fourth question. Paucity. Paucity means not huge. That means very small, very small quantity or almost none. Surplus means more than extra or more than satma, more than profit. Scarcity, presence, richness. So what is the spelling of what is the meaning of scarcity? Scarcity means great lackness. Great lackness. Or privation. Scarcity means crisis, great crisis. You can say crisis. Your city means crisis or privation. Richness means you all know richness means opulence. I have used uh, huge property, something like that, richness. Or the most better word, the most, you can say that the most appropriate, not the better, the best word or the most appropriate word is abundance. Or opulence. There are many words like this. And what can we assume if positive means very little or something like that, not huge. Then what can be the synonym? Richness can be the synonym. But be careful, there is a great plus between richness and positive. When surplus is there, and richness is there, and when the question is like positive, then surplus will be the answer because surplus is something that much more than richness. So, if you just tick this option, intentionally I have ticked this option, it is not the answer, rather, it is the answer. When richness and surplus is there, surplus should be chosen, but in the absence of surplus, you can choose richness. Now, I am going for the next question opaque. There are four options. Misty. What is misty? Full of fog. Misty means foggy. 
तो व्हाट इज व्हाट इज द स्पेलिंग ऑफ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ मिस्टी मिस्टी मीन्स फुल ऑफ फॉग और फॉगी कवर्ट मीन्स एनवेल ऑफ और स्ट्राउडेड क्लियर इज ओके डिस्टिंग क्लियर मीन डिस्टिंग transparent means too much distinct so opaque means almost many greatly hazy the haziest you can see so when the what is like op opaque is there then transparent will be the appropriate answer but in the absence of transparent you can select clear again i am repeating when the what is opaque is there in the question transparent will be the appropriate answer but in the absence of transparent you can select clear now i am going for the last question ruthless so there are four option again mindful mindful means very careful extremely punctilious so mindful means punctilious careful compassionate means you know that has some sympathy or something like that very sympathetic majestic means royal merciful means you can say generous now what is the actual spelling or what is the actual meaning of ruthless ruthless means in colloquial language we should say cruel okay now what is the actual meaning of meaning cruel ruthless cruel or something like that barbarous relentless so when ruthless is the what the appropriate antonym for this is merciful When merciful is the word, the appropriate antony ruthless. So we have to select the answers in this way. So then autonomy, dependence, overt, spread, accord, reason, possibility, richness, opposite, transparent, ruthless, merciful. But we have to know the meanings of all. Otherwise, we will make a big fuss during the exam. Ruthless means cruel or barbarous or relentless, something like that. Heartless. So there are many words. Rook, brute, something like that. Bestial. So all can be the word. Now mindful is very, that is called very punctilious, extremely careful. Something like pragmatic, judicious. All can be there. Compassion is sympathetic. That comes out of commiseration. Majestic means kingly or royal. Merciful means generous or kind enough. Lenient, you can say. So all can be the worst, but ruthless or merciful, merciful or ruthless. This is my class for the day. So if you have any problem, you can share your or you can. Draw your comments in the comment box. If you if you like my videos, you can share my video with the person needed most. So, I think you have all understood my class today. In case you think that you do not understand any part of this short analysis, you can easily draw your queries in the comment box. I will try to help you out from your doubt. now keep waiting for my class i will subscribe to my channel but before that you should always keep in mind that while solving all these questions in the exam you have to know the meanings properly so tomorrow or the day after tomorrow i will again come back with some new ideas for all of you till then have a very good